So, in the last video, I showed you how we how these cars can subscribe to this delegate reference, and they add each other one by one. They add themselves uh, here in the chain, and then when we actually invoke the delegate, everybody in the chain gets notified. That's a good, warm, fuzzy feeling. Now, suppose, and I would love this as a little kid, but suppose um, there's a train signal in the middle of nowhere, and you can walk up to this train signal, and you can pull the lever. And the train signal would just go off. It would just ding, 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 ding. Arms would go down and cars would have to stop. Now, if there's no train coming, you're completely wasting everybody's time. But as a little kid, that would be a lot of fun to do. In fact, I think as an adult, that would kind of be fun to do. But anyway, I didn't just say that, did I? I think I did. So I want to uh, show you that in our current situation, yeah, a little kid can directly access our train signal, or at least the event here, and notify all the cars that, hey, uh, there's a train coming. You need to stop your car. So notice... I went through the proper public method here, as I did in the previous video, to invoke the, the train coming. But now I'm going to access that delegate directly. I'm going to say train signal dot trains are coming. And remember, it's just it's just a, a delegate reference, a reference to a class that I can put parentheses after. And now, as a naughty kid, I am directly invoking that. So everybody who's subscribed to this this uh, chain, this delegate chain, is going to be notified the train's coming even though one really isn't. In fact, I'm so naughty, I'm going to do it a bunch of times, and let's just get rid of the rest of these uh, legitimate uh, method calls. Okay, invoking the delegate directly. Whew, here we go. Here's the output. All the cars are screeching. I giggle, and I run away. Hee hee hee. That was so fun. What's even worse and more deadly? As I come around, I can say, all right, train signal dot trains are coming gets null. Now think about what this is going to do. Trains are coming is a reference to a delegate chain, but once I assign it to null, it's referencing nothing. All right, so all these cars that were interested in seeing the the train signal go off so that they can stop their cars and not lose their life, um, they're not going to get notified anymore because this naughty kid came and eliminated the whole whole chain. Okay, so then let's say later on legitimately say a train really is coming we want to legitimately uh, say here comes a train all right well now that the naughty kid said you know what everybody who was interested or subscribed to it no longer can hear it all these cars one by one will pile up on the track as this as the real train comes and and uh, crushes them over so that's a little more deadly a little bit more lawsuit worthy anyway i would run this as is but there's a little gotcha when when we come into here, in fact, I'm going to hit hit F9 here. Let me. Oh, I will run it. Let's just run it. I hit F9. I run it. Notice here when the kid said, trains are coming, trains are coming, trains are coming. All these cars are stopping. Then we come in here and we set it to null. See, it's it's null. When I invoke this and I come down in here, well, this delegate reference is null, and I'm trying to invoke it. All right? In fact, I'm going to move my breakpoint here. And... Uh, Remember this this is this print print is syntactic sugar for invoke. Well notice the dot here, you should be well familiar or well comfortable with dotting on null references. You know what happens. You get that object not set to or instance the reference not set to an instance of an object, the null reference exception, like the first error you ever see as a computer science student. Anyway, we can't invoke a null reference. So one check we'll do is we'll say if trains are coming is not null, we'll see, hey, if there's somebody subscribed then Let's invoke it. That's a little bit better. Okay, nice little check. So let's come back down here now and we run this. All right, the naughty kid. He's saying, "Hey, there's a train coming!" Screech, screech, screech. And then he goes, he giggles away, nullifies the reference chain. We come in here. There's a legitimate train coming now. F11. Nobody is subscribed, so nothing else happens. All right. So, so that's there's those are the two issues with just having a raw, naked delegate out here. All right? Well, C Sharp comes to the rescue, and we drop a little keyword out here called event. All right? And if you notice, I got a lot of squiggly lines over here. In fact, let's, let's make this nice and big so you can see it. I got some squiggly lines. All right? The event keyword, at a high level, which I'll leave it at in this video, the event keyword stops you from invoking the delegate directly and it also stops you from assigning to it directly.
You can plus equals all you want. See the red squiggly went away when I did the plus equals. You can minus equals too, that's fine. So you can add yourself or you can remove yourself. But you can't just assign over it and ruin other subscribers' subscriptions. Okay? So if I were to ask you in a job interview, what's the difference between a delegate and, and an event? The, the perfect answer, at least in the book of Jamie King, would be an event is a delegate reference with two restrictions on it. One, you cannot invoke the the delegate reference directly, and two, you cannot assign to it directly. And I would go, oh, what a master, you're hired. Okay, in the next video I'm going to show you how the compiler actually prevents all this from happening.